You have no idea what you've unleashed. You're gonna need me. If I do, I know where to find you. Wait, 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 wait! Hi everyone. We're going to watch a review of the WandaVision miniseries series finale today on Marvel. Episode 9 of WandaVision begins with Wanda using her powers and knocking back Agatha. She forces the boys to leave as Agatha reveals she's using her magic against the undeserving, only, White Vision arrives and grabs Wanda's face. It's clear this is a very different Vision to the one we've come accustomed to, leading to a showdown between the two versions of Vision. While they fight, Wanda squares off against Agatha. The witch claims that Wanda's destined to destroy the world and cuts the strings to Wanda's meat puppets. The people under her spell surround Wanda and begin pleading for help. In true MCU fashion, a giant fight ensues as the two versions of Vision square off against one another while Wanda breaks the anomaly using her powers. With cracks in the force field, Agatha reminds Wanda that she can either save Westview or save her family. Unfortunately she chooses the latter when she sees Vision and the kids start to fade away, in true MCU fashion, a giant fight ensues as the two versions of Vision square off against one another while Wanda breaks the anomaly using her powers. With cracks in the force field, Agatha reminds Wanda that she can either save Westview or save her family. Unfortunately she chooses the latter when she sees Vision and the kids start to fade away. With soldiers managing to squeeze in during the power struggle, Agatha and Wanda both use their magic as Monica too uses her powers to get involved in the fight. Vision manages to help White Vision break his programming protocol and watches as this new version flies away, Wanda and Agatha trade magical blasts, with Agatha draining Wanda with every stream of magic she throws at her. However, Agatha somehow runs out of juice and isn't able to hit blasts of her own, Wanda then shows off her own trump card. She's made runes around the anomaly. It's a clever play and one that sees Wanda embrace her origins and conjure forth the power of Scarlet Witch, Wanda decides to keep Agatha inside her own prison, transforming her into the nosy neighbor inside the sitcom. Agatha calls her cruel just before she does it, as Wanda brushes aside these claims and locks up Agatha in a prison of her own making, Wanda begins to shrink the anomaly now that the threats are gone, heading back home with Vision and tucking the kids in after the big CGI fight, with the anomaly shrinking, Vision and Wanda talk for the final time. Wanda admits that Vision is a piece of the mind stone that lives inside her, he's her sadness and hope but mostly her love. The two say goodbye and the world, including everything in Westview, Fades from view, Wanda walks away, through Westview where the residents all shoot nasty glances her way. Wanda apologizes to Monica, not to anyone else mind you, and says goodbye, flying off scot-free, Hayward is apprehended in the wake of this too, while Monica heads into the movie theater for a private meeting. A Cree transforms though and reveals that there's a meeting planned, pointing up at the sky as the location, Meanwhile, a post-credit sequence reveals that Wanda is living alone in a wood hut by the river, backdropped by rolling hills. She also seems to be channeling her inner Scarlet Witch as she begins furiously reading Agatha's book. 